So in the last video, we created a function that gets and sets all of our spawn points that we have placed in the world, such as this one and this one for our map one. Now what we need to do is go ahead and set ourselves up to pretty much select a certain spawn point from the array that we generated. So what I'm going to do, uh, first off, go ahead and make sure you're, if you're assuming you're following along, that your web API and your database is up and running. I had some issues a minute ago. So that way we can host, join, and test with. So we're going to be testing with multiple clients. First thing we want to do is if, actually we're going to do a for loop that loops through all of our spawn points. So for a Nazi zombie player spawn point, spawn point inside of player spawn points. Now we're going to do a check. So if spawn point is used, we're going to put an exclamation at the point. So if it's not used, then we will use that as our point to spawn on. So we're going to go ahead and spawn our default pawn and possess it. So we're going to do is if a pawn on equals get world spawn actor of type a pawn and then the class that we're going to spawn is our default pawn class so default pawn class then we need the location and the rotation that we want to spawn at so our default pawn class is our uh, pretty much whatever character that we set so this will allow us to just, if we make a blueprint version of this, just try to change it on the fly. But odds are we won't really be having to do that, so we're good. So now let's go ahead and get our location. So f vector spawn location equals spawn point get actor location. We're going to do spawn location, and we're going to pass in an empty rotator. So f Rotator, zero rotator, and we're good. So if that pawn has spawned, I want to print out a simple log. And make it say, spawned on to possess. Great spelling. So now that the pawn is spawned, we can possess it. So we're going to do new player, possess. And what we're going to possess is the pawn. And once that's done, we want to simply return. Otherwise, we'll be spawning and trying to possess different, pretty much to keep duplicating or re uh, spawning a bunch of pawns. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and give it a test. I'm going to test it in single player first, make sure it actually works. And I just realized I forgot to do something. So let me close that, go back to the editor. We want to go ahead and remove our network player start. And I'm going to put one spawn point on the far left. And one over here on the far right. So that way they can just... Uh, it's very easy to tell the difference. And I guess I can put some object just in the middle here that we can kind of have as a direction or reference point. Now let's give it a try. And another thing I think I forgot to do, I forgot to set the uh, spawn point as used. Right. But we did. We spawned at the one on the far right. So we are spawning on them, in fact. And I forgot to set it as used. So what I'm going to do here is spawn point set used true and compile one more time. And then we can test in multiplayer. So hopefully we should have one client spawn here and the other spawn here. I'm going to launch two clients.
and start game. So I'm on the right. Oh, and there he is on the left. So we now have our spawn points working. And there you can see him. So we are good to go there. And this should work pretty much dynamically to some extent. So for example, if I want to make one in the middle and just test with three clients. It should all work all the same. I don't even know if my PC can actually handle it though. Because I can hear the fan cranking way up right now. Give it one more try. I feel like everything that I kind of have going on is just a little much for it. There we go. So one, two, and three. So everything seems to be good. So we now have our basic spawn points set up. And it kind of randomly selects through them because it's always going to be getting them out in kind of a different order. So I kind of like that, I think I'm gonna end up leaving it as such. So now that we have that done with, I will see you in the next one.